lovely afternoon to everyone. It's almost evening. It is 3.40, Thursday, the 4th of April, 2024. This is bus 300 and 301. Progress has been made to where the building can begin. Well, actually, the clearing and cleaning can begin to allow the building to hop in. So, as one have maybe just seen, the chairs that are out were removed from both rolling condos because some is going to be repurposed, uh, still for seating, and some will be scrapped. That is just a few of many of them that were transported away. Difficult doing it alone. Every weight, lots of sharps. And it's been a lot of icy cold rain. I'm not complaining, just sharing. So inside of bus 300, we'll show that this is an approximate, if not the amount of space that would be made available Many of the cushions were repurposed for this use here, which I'm going to show, which is the back cushions and the cushions that one sit on. And so the seat is still configured the way the factory made it, but took the cushions and learned if they could be used as another form of comfort so imitated a chair and a half here that is a furniture industry term chair and a half which is a larger size one person sofa uh i'm sorry chair and it's slightly shorter than a love seat so a chair and a half but this is comfortable for two people And so all these cushions are removable except the one that is on the the right and left end. The one on the right and left end is what's uh, assembled by the factory. Otherwise, the three narrow cushions and what looks like a headrest or a backrest and two cushions there are just added to learn what it could look like placed that way. <clears throat> and me propose that if this is kept this way, they will be cleaned, upholstered, and be made to where they could be removed for travel purposes. The seat belts will still be left in this chair here. And proposing that across from the quote unquote chair in the hop would be a Possibly a large storage in which i um, thinking that it will have a monitor there uh, for viewing television type of material programs, games, computer. This area here, well, I'll go chronologically. And so me proposing that at the edge of this backrest will be a wall and the wall will have a Dutch sliding door here in the center. Basically our own door. Coming inside the arm, imagining that to the left me propose that this will be a countertop. An L-shaped countertop. I 
and potentially under that countertop will be a cool box. Perhaps here or here, a cool box. Not certain if we're going to go with a home style refrigerator or an apartment size refrigerator, no sure. But an L shaped countertop. So again, here, countertop. Then cooker, here, under the cooker, propane tank. And the cooker may be a tree burner with a an oven. And this window here can be an exhaust for the uh, for the cooker. And here would be a piece of a countertop um, and sink and plumbing. And then at this window, uh, another wall behind the sink. Not a wall that go all the way across, just behind the sink. And so therefore that would be a little walk path. Should have cleared this before me film. So this is the the edge of what is proposed to be the sink to about here. And just go into the area where this will be the living room. Not the entirety of what we'll see, but just simply this, what's in the film. This is the seat that we could not figure to remove. Figuring, well, it's not wrong to have it there because it could be used maybe like on odd days and just have it as just like a a chill spot and maybe even have um like a beautiful view while the door is open. Um it also could be used to, to perhaps take off uh, shoes or put on shoes. Um not to come into the home but just simply just to have a place to put to put In this area, proposing that the exit sign will have a wood burning fireplace, perhaps right there. Wood burning fireplace, and next to that wood burning fireplace, propose possibly a safe way to have a uh, a a monitor for television viewing, computer, a game system. Across from another ch chair and a half, like the one that was viewed earlier, same size. And these will be armrests when it's in its proper place. Armrest here, armrest here. And again, across from the monitor and fireplace. And this will probably be covered some kind of way, maybe making it to a table. Thought and am considering removing this, but have to make sure that there is going to be a way to protect the wheel well. So not saying that this is going to stay. So this is proposed to have a wall here, not a stationary wall, but a removable wall for this to be the entrance into the bedroom. And I'm figuring maybe there'll be a wall on this side as well with this narrow opening to get into the bedroom. And if this is imagined that this is the bedroom, that the bedroom will have four cushions, which is what one see here. That's a headboard, uh, 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 so to speak. And there would be a footboard the same size for privacy and 
for not having feet potentially up against a cold surface when it's winter time or just cold season. Um, and the one that's in front is proposed to be a place to rest arms and back support. But real pillows can just be placed there just in case. But there are four of these large cushions, which are here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. So there's four large cushions there. And those four large cushions complete the entirety of this area, making it a colossal bed. This four-legged chair is removable. It was placed there as a support for the cushions to make it into a bed. This same area is a booth. There's a seat here when it's not in bed mode. And this chair here can be used as a booth seating and place a table that could be removable here and enjoy it as a booth. And there's the original factory seat that can also be used for the same use. This is proposed to have a, uh, not really a, a wall, but a wall covering here. And this would be space for a garage. Electronics, like the solar generator, perhaps, maybe luggage, perhaps, um, perhaps uh, electric fans and uh, what is it called? The propane eaters. When it's not in use, storage, essentially, a garage. And um, in front of this proposed wall, possibly could be a monitor for, again, viewing television, computer, game system. And we'll put some protection on that glass so that for it wouldn't be broken or entered. by someone that's other than the owner of this. And that exit sign up there, uh, which is a tiny storage, may be um, repurposed to maybe place a firearm, flashlight, um, pepper spray. And that may be a little bit far away in terms of self-defense, but it still may serve for that purpose or something that maybe could be decorative or just some sort of miniature storage. I may have to do two, two quote unquote trips to get the chairs that's placed out here. Been doing a lot of chair removal, trying to figure which ones could be used for reasons like this and scrapping the, the metal that is going to be used and possibly even keeping some of the chairs that could be used uh, if there's if, if a property is established and maybe this could be like yard uh, outdoor furniture not letting it get exposed to rain but having a booth or some sort of gazebo over it and paint it with a, a rust protecting spray Going to the other Roland Condo, which is Roland Condo Trio One. This is bus trio one. Same uh, thought process of having um, this be a uh, an option to have it as a chair and a half, or just a standard travel seat for the passenger with an ottoman. Now, 
It's not an ottoman uh, by design, but just repurposed it, shaved off the back of the uh, the metal uh, cushion, kept the cushion part, the backrest, and just made it appear to be an ottoman. If the cushions are placed there, then it could be used for um, resting while traveling. Same thought process. Having a um, countertop here, countertop there. With possibly a cool box in one of these areas. And this area where the emergency window is, perhaps have a, uh, a cooker there. Maybe a tree burner cooker with an oven with a propane tank underneath. And using this exit as exhaust since it does easily exhaust. I mean easily uh, allow the door to be open or the window to be open. And still having this function to be lowered. This window could be lowered. So this is the cooker and this would be um, this window would be proposed to be countertop and sink. And behind the countertop and sink a uh, wall for separation. Go through here. Coming to Living room again, chair and aft with the armrest, backrest, and again, same thought is having a fire, a wood burning fireplace about here, using the exhaust window potentially as where the chimney can go, making the chimney and wood burning fireplace not stationary, but it could be moved um, in case if it's just uh, not what one wants to have there. So making it optional to have it there. And same way, having an entertainment system here, like a monitor with the game system. Um, perhaps a uh, this may sound an antiquated, but a DVD player um, game system. Having a divider or partition here that could be removable. And allow it to basically go into now the bedroom. And this is approximate what the bedroom could look like uh, when it's done. Yeah, the cushions is not in its proper place. But otherwise, this showing the, the about the approximate size of what it would be. And um, that cushion could be used or not. That cushion could be used or not. I could just have traditional pillows there, but it's just there. Um, in case of maybe wanting to sit up right in the bay and uh, have uh, arms resting there opposed to um, the typical pillows, which may be too soft for that arm support. And so this chair here is another four-legged chair that could be removed and it could be repurposed. Just simply just want to give a, a mock showing of what it could look like. Um, and this most certainly contradicts what I shared in previous videos about having a Murphy bed. And the reason I mentioned that this could have a removable partition is so when this is not in bed mode, it could be a colossal sofa. So that means that basically these can be filled in with cushions to make it a colossal sofa without the need of a Murphy bed now. So just simply, um, well not simply, but it's just another way of having um, the sofa and bed combination and having it colossal.
And again, storage in the garage back there. May do something to cover these to make these more um, um, appealing, but still keeping them as a a roof hatch. Mention that me don't have a budget, so I'm doing everything to keep what's here and do some painting to rust proof as much as can be rust proofed put down some sexy flooring again i used that word before and perhaps we shouldn't i don't literally mean the word sex i'm just just simply just using a word that um indicates that have it very appealing perhaps i'll just do that so put down some very appealing floor beautiful floor and uh attempt to insulate the walls and make them gorgeous perhaps curtains ceiling to be painted beautiful lights like what many people have done to their quote unquote rigs but the Roland Kondo one to have a very lovely resemblance to a sticks and bricks brick and mortar rolling I mean condo condominium well, going to end this video momentarily. Um, just sharing my inner thoughts outwardly. And prayfully, this is uh, useful information, uh, useful showing. Uh, you're welcome to provide your comments, your questions, your ideas, your suggestions, your complaints, your compliments. And may I do my best to respond. My name is Saruno. And prayfully, this is a enjoyable every day. And um, this will be considered part six of the seats being removed or now removed. See? Three rolling condos have not met this person as I've said in a few videos. <laughs> Thank you for your viewing, attention, and time. Ciao now.